How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher Ash, and welcome to ML Mr. Ash. Today, we're going to discuss and solve these given quadratic equations using extracting square root. So, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool math videos just like this. Hello math learners, we have already discussed the introduction about quadratic equations and what are the things you need to know about this chapter. So for today, we're going to discuss how to solve quadratic equations. As what I said on the last video, there are at least four different methods in solving the value of x or the roots of the equation. Now, we're going to discuss the first method in this video. It is known as the extracting square root. In terms of the extracting square root method, this can only be applied, or mostly this is applied, if our linear term is upset. Now, we already know that the standard form of the quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now, in order for us to apply extracting square root, bx should not be present. So as you can see in our given examples, we don't have any linear term except for this given example. But later on, I will discuss the other exceptions in terms of using this given method. Now, let's start. Let's start with x squared is equal to 100. Now, in solving quadratic equations using extracting square roots, we don't need to arrange our equation into the standard form because our aim here is to get the value of x. Now. In terms of solving the value of x, we need to isolate the value of x. As we can see in this example, our x is already isolated in the left side of the equation. And our 100, which is the constant term, is already on the right side of the equation. It's very simple to apply extracting square root in this example. What you will do is you just square root both sides of the equation, and then the square root of x squared is x. Now, be vigilant about this matter. Every time we are considering x squared, we are talking about two values of x. Therefore, we are not considering the principal root of the square root of 100. Instead, we are extracting all possible answers of the square root of 100. Okay, so what is a number multiplied by itself? The answer is 100. Very good. That is positive 10. But since there is another side of that coin, negative 10 times negative 10 is also positive 100. So therefore, if you square root a positive value and it turns out that this value is a perfect square, therefore, the answer for that is positive and negative 10. Okay? So that is your final answer for this given example. Very easy, right? Okay, let's go to the next example. Now, for our second example, we have a squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Again, we cannot directly apply our extracting square root because our variable is not yet isolated in the other side of the equation. So, therefore, we need to transpose our negative 9 to the right side of the equation. So, by doing so, this will become a squared equals 0 plus 9. Because negative 9, when transposed to the other side of the equation, the negative will become positive or the minus will become a plus. Okay, so therefore, we have a squared is equal to 0 plus 9, that is 9. And then, since this is already isolated, we can now apply the extracting square root. So we square root both sides of the equation, so that will be cancelled and the answer is e. Now, the square root of 9, is there a number multiplied by itself? The answer is 9. Very good, that is 3. But again, we will consider the positive and negative 3 because positive 3 times positive 3 is equal to 9 and negative 3 times negative 3 is also equal to 9. So therefore, the values of our a are positive 3 and negative 3. Easy, right? Let's continue. Okay, so for the third example, we have 2 t squared minus 162 is equal to 0. So first, let us try to isolate our variable in the left side of the equation. Therefore, we will be transposing our negative 162 or minus.
minus 162 to the right side. It will become 2 t squared is equal to 0 plus 162. By doing so, we have 2 t squared is equal to 162. So now, on this matter, we cannot apply directly our extracted square. Why? Because our variable is not yet isolated. So therefore, we have to eliminate this 2 here in order for us to apply the extracted square. So in order to do so, we will divide both sides by 2. By doing so, this will be cancelled out and this will result to t squared is equal to 162 divided by 2, that is 81. Now, we can apply our extracted square root. Okay. So this will be cancelled out and our answer is t here. And for the right side of the equation, what is a number multiplied by itself? The answer is 81. Okay. Very good. And that is 9. But we will consider positive and negative. And that is our final answer. Because 9 times 9 is 81. Negative 9 times negative 9 is still 81. So that is easy, right? Okay. Now, let's continue. Okay, math learners. We are now here in our fourth example. We have r squared is equal to negative 16. Since in this given example, our variable is already isolated, so now we can apply the square root both sides of each equation. So, we square root this one, and we also square root this one. This will be cancelled out, and that will become r. However, is there a number multiplied by itself? The answer is negative 16. Okay, none. So, therefore, the answer here is no solution. Because we are only considering real numbers. This is an example of a solution with an imaginary number. So, since we are talking about negative 16, the only answer for this one is 4i or 4 times square root of negative 1. And in that case, we are now considering imaginary numbers. But since we are talking about real number system, the answer for square root of negative 16 is not a part of the real number system, which is 4i. Therefore, our final answer is no solution. Easy, right? Okay. So now let's go to second to the last example. Okay, math learners, second to the last example, we have the quantity of x minus 4 squared is equal to 25. Now in this kind of example, this is what we call the exception to the rule. Because if we know x minus 4 squared or the quantity of x minus 4 squared means x minus 4 times x minus 4. And if you try to multiply that using FOIL method, you will have an answer with a linear term. But since our left side of the equation is a perfect square, we can already apply our extra square. Now this is how you answer this one. If you have a perfect square in the left side of the equation, you can already apply the extra square root. The square root both sides of the equation. You will cancel this one and you will have x minus 4. Okay? Now, going here, the square root of 25 is positive negative 5. Now, it's not yet the final answer because we did not extract our value of x or we did not extract the variable in the left side of the equation. So therefore, we need to transpose this. By doing so, we will have x is equal to positive 5 or negative 5 plus 4. Now, is there an answer that looks like this? Well, technically, we need to simplify this even more. So we will separate the operation. So this is positive 5 plus 4 and this is negative 5 plus 4. By doing so, we have now 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 and negative 5 plus 4 is equal to negative 1. Therefore, our two answers for the value of x in this second to the last example are positive 9 and negative 1. Now, let's try to check this one. If we change this as 9, that would be 9 minus 4, that is 5. 5 squared is 25. 5 squared is 5 times 5 and that is 25. Correct. Now let's try negative 1. Negative 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 5. The square of negative 5 is also positive 25. Therefore, our answers for 9 and negative 1 are correct. Now let us go to the last example. Okay, for our final example, we have m squared minus 5 is equal to negative 5. So same as what we did earlier, Okay? We just need to isolate our variable in the left side of the equation. So therefore, we will transpose our negative 5 here. By doing so, 
it will become negative 5 when transpose this this will become positive 5 or plus 5 negative 5 plus 5 the answer is 0 so we have m squared is equal to 0 then if you try to square root both sides of the equation cancel cancel m is equal to what is the square root of 0 since 0 is not a positive nor a negative number Therefore, the answer for this one is just 0. Because 0 times 0 is 0. Okay? And that is how you solve quadratic equations using extracting square root. I hope you have learned our lesson for today. And now this is the time that I will be giving you your practice exercises. Good luck! I hope you have learned our lesson for today. And if you have any questions, Please comment down below. Thank you very much. This is still your free access math teacher. And don't forget that it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you for subscribing. God bless.